And racing towards the first of the eight flights with back view prominence in the, in the over on the far side. Valiant Boy towards the near side with Royal Derby up there also. Minarets Girl and Chirk Power up with the leaders. And all safely over the first. Chirk Power, Minarets Girl, Papero over on the far side. Valiant Boy on the near side. Just in behind them come Ruling. Pretty closely grouped there. Rapero, Minarets Girl, Ruling, Chirk Power, Valiant Boy. These being followed by Crevensis and Bank View. Behind them, in the center of the field, is uh, Fidway. World Gate, one of the back markers over the second. Rapero landed in the lead there from Valiant Boy. And Minarets Girl, Ruling and Chirk Power. Behind them, Shoe Fly. Old Derby's on the near side. Right up with them is Crevensis. Also Bank View, then Fidway, then Morley Street. Behind Morley Street is Winnie the Witch, and then Granville again. And behind Granville again is Royal Gate, and then Mardood, and oh so risky as they swing left-handed. Valiant Boy, the leader now, as they begin to run downhill from Papiro on the inside. Then comes Chirk Parr, Minaret's Girl on the outside, Royal Derby on the inside, ruling just in behind the leaders. Bank view, Credensis is prominent, the previous winner, Shoe Flies holding his position just in behind them as they jump the third, come Morley Street and Fidway and Granville again. Mardu jumped that last, a racing now towards the fourth, and still Valiant Boy and Shane Lyons, the leaders from Propero, ruling on the inside right up there. Chirk Power also, Minaret's girl just in behind the lead, Royal Derby holding his place towards the outside, Shoe Fly on the inner. Over this one, Valiant Boy over the fourth from Ruling, Chirk Power, Minaret's girl, Royal Derby, Shoe Fly, Cribensis going well, then Fidway towards the outside. Granville again is one of the back markers at the moment with Mardoon actually last. Valiant Boy is still the leader as they race towards the next. This will be the fifth. Chirk Power is second. Ruling is four. Five is Royal Derby. Just behind them is Minaret's girl and then making ground towards the outside. Fidway, shoe fly behind them. Royal Gate has got a lot closer to the lead. Valiant Boy, though, is still the leader from Chirk Power. Minaret's girl ruling on the inside. Fidway improving towards the outer. Still looking a wide open race. Chirk Power takes a fractional advantage now. Chirk Power in the center, ruling on the stern side. Royal Derby and Fidway running strongly towards the outside. Minaret's girl is holding her place. They're racing now towards the second last flight. Minaret's girl in the center. Chirk Power on the near side. These two from Fidway. Royal Gate is still going strongly just in behind the lead as they come to the second last. Chirk Power, Minaret's girl and Fidway. Granville again a fall over that one. Granville again has gone. And the leader is Chirk Power with Minaret's girl. Right up there to Royal Gate improving on the in near side and here comes oh so risky towards the near side too royal gates coming there strongly in the center royal gate and oh so risky from fitway it's oh so risky on the near side royal gate in the center then fitway then ruling oh so risky and royal gate as they race into the closing stages royal gate on the far side oh so risky on the near side ruling is in third place the race towards the line and royal gate is going to win it royal gate the novice has won it but it's a photo for second place between ruling and oh so risky the result of the 1992 Smurfit champion hurdle is first number 11 Royal Gate owned by Sheikh Mohammed trained by James Fanshawe and written by Graham McCourt and it's a photo and a very close photo indeed between ruling and oh so risky for second place but a novice Royal Gate has won the 1992 champion hurdle become the third winner of the season for James Fanshawe and number 77 for his freelance rider Graham McCord being congratulated there by oh so risky's rider Paul Holly. There's a steward's inquiry. There is a steward's inquiry. Meanwhile we see Royal Gate, the horse who was so unlucky disqual disqualified after winning the Gold Cup at Ascot.
returning now to the winner's circle. Yes, it was quite an amazing race, wasn't it? And as they come down to the second last, it's Granville again who goes. He's two from the left as we're looking at it now. Just look, he dives at that and he stumbles on landing. Silly fall, really. Look, Skew's thrown under the feet of Shoefly there. He gets a right old kicking. Let's hope that he's OK. Now, as they come off this bend, you've got Chirk Parr in the inner. Minaret's girl going sideways there as they're both uh, uh, really bumping there for a bit of room as Royal Gate comes through. Graham McCoy of course has won the gold cup on the Norton's coin and now has got the champion hurdle look at oh so risky coming up on the outside been below form this year but won the triumph uh, 12 months ago so convincingly now Fidway in the red cap is going well at this point but Royal Gate meets the last spot on just in behind his ruling the yellow cap black colors Morley Street's in behind them he's on their tail and you'd think uh, he might just deliver from there but no a minaret's girl just out of the picture but as they go for the post it gets closer than this now there you can see that Royal Gate is probably a length up at this stage uh, the angle is a bit deceptive but oh so risky fights back ruling back there in uh, third place and challenging as he did last year very late on indeed but Graham McCourt probably feels he's done the big double at this stage it's a hard one up the hill but uh, you can see that uh, there there was no apparent reason for uh, the stewards inquiry but from the head on it may be a different matter Graham McCourt, who uh, is the freelance of the century of the moment, he's getting good rides of spare rides everywhere, and uh, he takes his opportunities by the neck. Now let's have a look from head on and see if we can see anything here. I think that it may just have been Fidway, you know, who is in the middle of the uh, course here. Now just have a look. He's got the breast girth. Fidway jumps in a second. And now I think they start to come together. We've got them well spread apart now. They're off. You can see that uh, there the leader went right across, hit Fidway, so he was the one. It was the winner who came across there, swerved violently, then goes back and hits ruling again. So the picture from head on, totally different from the one that we saw from sideways. So I'm afraid the winner has hit two of the other runners. You can see now as they desperately go for the line, although uh, he hasn't interfered with the second horse, which is oh so risky, he's definitely uh, done a little bit of running around there. So it'll be an interesting outcome to the stewards inquiry here. So we'll wait for those who are actually um, having to put their necks on the line to decide what damage was done. But we do have a chance to have yet another look at these incidents. Now, just have a look. You've got Royal Gate there in the white cap of Sheikh Mohammed. Comes across now. He's going across right-handed. He actually bumps their uh, Fidway, but did Fidway run into the back of him? That's also what they've got to decide. And then you can see that he goes back across the other way now, going across left-handed, and ruling is the, the one who doesn't actually get touched there, does he? But Royal Gate goes across him and then eventually comes back again uh, right-handed. Of course, even though he is a novice over hurdles, he's hard and flat performer and uh, really should know how to keep straight. But it's a desperate affair when you've got a champion hurdle in your grasp. And uh, we wait with interest the outcome of the stewards' inquiry. I think also early on, Minaret's girl got a bit of a bump. So all in all, there was a fair bit of scrimmaging. The distance in the end, well, as ruling uh, has run on so strongly there, this will just be a very interesting outcome, won't it? Yes, pending the outcome of the stewards' inquiry, Royal Gate, six to one, and officially plays second. Oh, so risky. A third ruling, and fourth, 